So let's take a look at the new 3D machining strategy, wireframe profile finishing. The reason that Delcam have developed this is to aid the press trimming die industry. This industry quite often receives data in the form of wireframe. They don't always receive surface or solid as their input. They often simply receive curved data. On the screen you will see some curves, many of them red and then a single large cyan colored curve. So this new function allows me to select the curves and to cut either to the left or to the right of those curves. Now we can cut deeper than the Z value of the curve itself. In this instance I'm going to have four cuts, each one 10 millimeters deep. So the total cut depth will be 40 millimeters below the Z height of the curve. If I just apply this to calculate this in real time, and this is a very large part, this part is the side of a car. So the toolpath is generated. Viewing from above, you will see, and if I just attach the tool here, that the tool is touching the curve and looks like a simple two-dimensional offset. But when I rotate the view into more isometric, you can see that this toolpath is also following the Z values of that curve. And in this instance, we're cutting 40 millimeters below the Z height of the curve. Our power mill also smooths the Z values. So when we come into tight internal corners, such as this, as we move into the corner, we get dual contact positions here to the right of the tool and also at the top of the tool. And the input curve is likely to have different Z values in corners such as this, which if we produced a 100% mathematically correct toolpath would produce a vertical spike in the toolpath. Unfortunately, these vertical spikes have a habit of damaging or breaking tools. So within this function, PowerMill has a Z smoothing parameter so that we don't experience these vertical damaging motions on the toolpath, therefore preserving tool life when this actually occurs.